All right, so what is Canva? Canva essentially is a tool for creating content, for building your brand, and for planning and scheduling for social media, among many other things. And the purpose for, for us today is to look at specific areas. And what I'll do is log into this account so that you can have an understanding of some of the things that Canva does and how it can support you as VPPRs and also as Toastmasters or just doing your career or working on your business. Now, as a content creation tool, as I said earlier, the options are endless. You can create so many different things. It can seem a little bit overwhelming when you have joined for the first time. The easiest thing, as you can see on the screen, is that it lays it out very clearly here. In this blue box, you can see just about everything that is there on offer. So when I say creating content, it creates content such as whiteboards. If you need to manage your team, if you need to manage a project, if you need to have a flow chart, that is what whiteboards can do for you all the way to presentations. So if you have to give a presentation either at work or for, for your business or customers, this is a great place to, to, to have a template ready. As you can see, these are already ready-made templates. You just go in and you change it according to your needs. And then it goes all the way to creating content for social media. And social media is quite diverse, different platforms, and also videos. Now, the good thing with videos is that using Canva, it can be really fast to create the content and animate it. And then on top of that, there is elements that you can find that means there are already existing video contents that you can just drag and drop. And for a variety of different sizes as well, as you can see, there's mobile videos, YouTube videos, video messages, so many different options. Then you have websites. If you want to create a website for your new company or for your company that's already been there for a while. And under more, because this is not exhaustive, there's so much more, you're able to find things such as infographic, photo collage. Maybe at the Toastmasters Club, you had an amazing meeting and you wanted to have all the photos that you've taken for members to review you can create a photo collage so that it's like three images with all of the images that you've taken. So it's like a collage. You can create book covers, mind maps, magazine covers, endless options at your disposal. So when we are saying creating content, we mean content across all formats, from posters to images, to social media messages, to videos, and also GIF, and GIF is like a sort of animated image uh, without the sound. So it's like a video, per, uh, okay, sort of like a video, but then uh, without the sound. Now, when it comes to the getting the content, because now we have seen the, what you can do, you can do whiteboards, presentations, social media, etc. And when you want to download this content, let us say you want to create a design and you can always choose custom size. You can edit an existing photo or import files. You have so many options, but then you just go to create design. Let us create an example here of, uh, you want to design something like a mobile phone or so. Are you able to see the new window that has just opened? Yes, we can. Yes. Okay, all right. So now this is the size that has been selected at the beginning. And you can always see like, it has looked at this uh, size dimension and decided that this looks like something for the infographic. You can always tap it and then it will bring it in. And you can start working on this different, uh, we call them elements, the text, the fonts, the, the images, the shapes, the background color. You can always change these things up. Now, what I wanted to show you was how to export it. There was a few questions earlier about 
if it's a PNG or a JPEG, because sometimes you download it and the size is so big and you don't know what to do with it because you can't share it on WhatsApp efficiently. Simply come to share and then download. Here, at download, you will see the option that the, the first option that comes here is PNG. Now, PNG is high quality image. However, it is a very heavy file. So when you want to download, don't automatically go to download. Come select the, the file type over here and select either JPEG, if it is an image, let us say a poster, something for social media, something that doesn't need to be animated. The best option is pick JPEG. PNG looks good. It has this blue text saying suggested. Ah, don't go for it. That's a trap. Now, if it's an image, go for JPEG. If you want a PDF, always go for standard. Don't go for print. That one is also another heavy one. This is if you want to have it printed out by a printer, then go for the print because it will bring out the best quality. But if you want to share it uh, on social media, if you want to share it on WhatsApp or per email, just use the standard option. Then the other options are video and GIF. GIF is what I'd mentioned earlier. It's just a short clip of images with no sound and they're animated. The SVG is a little bit complicated for web designs and animations. That one is absolutely not necessary at this point, unless you guys want us to go through animations and website development at another time. So for now, keep it simple, go to JPEG, and then you can decide the quality. Always best keep it at 80 and then download that image. So those are the first and uh, foremost things that I'd have liked to show you. Now, because I know we have so many different people and each one of us here has a different challenge, I'd like us to vote for the four top areas that we will be working for today. And that is, where do you want us to start? I know we have people who are at the very beginning. We have people who are a little bit moderate and they understand things. And then we have gurus who just fly through in like 10 minutes and out of it comes something that is like, wow. So let's do a voting. Eh? Let us vote what we want for. So I put in the chat. Hi, Connie. I can see a question here. No, this is not the free version of Canva. This is the district Canva account. We have managed to get the NGO uh, version. So we had to show them our papers, registrations, nini nini, and then we got the, it's like pro, but with limited facilities. Yeah. All right, so we have, either we're working on poster, either working on a poster, social media, uh, that can give option that I had shown you earlier, or we can go through the creation of a video. Now, what I'd like us to do, which option you want, just type in the number of that option. So if you want us to work on a poster, please type in the, thank you. Thank you, Muhaki. We have video, just type in the number for what you want us to do today. What has been your biggest challenge so far? What would you like to learn to do? You can see they're still coming in. I'll give us another 30 seconds to conclude. And as I can see, we're leaning heavily on one. And then we also have those who would like number four. All right, I guess we're almost at the end. All right. So we can just close that. Thank you everybody for your feedback. We have a resounding request for posters, which is good because that's the majority of things. And then later in our next sessions, we're going to look at both social media and videos. So this is really good input that you're sharing because it's going to direct our next conversations for the trainings that will come next October and uh, January. If, if you are not too excited to be here over December. All right, so what we'll do, I'll just go right ahead and start sharing with you how to create a poster. I'm going to create something based on a template that is already there because this is generally what we're going to do. 
BPPR is not easy. And there's a lot of other things that we do besides creating posters. So I can definitely understand if this is something that's but not something that you want to spend the entire week on. When you have opened the Canva account, you're going to see all these options. And for people like me, there's so many options. You just want to go everywhere. So you need to decide what kind of a poster you want. And to decide that, you decide on two things. Where will it go? Where are you going to share it? And what content does it need to have? For instance, if you want to share this on Instagram, believe you me, if you have an A4 poster, it will chop off some parts. That's the frustrating part. And if you have the, something for Facebook, you want something that is more landscape than vertical. So landscape means it's like this one here. This is a landscape design because the width is, is bigger than the height. And then portrait is where you have the height that is bigger than the width. For example, this phone here, the height is bigger than the width. So you want to decide where is it going to go and what kind of content do you want to share? So once you have decided on that, you can either come to create design and see the options that are suggested here, or you can decide what you want. As I had shared with you earlier, these are the options that you have. For instance, social media, you have all these options. WhatsApp status, your story. And this is not the only options. If you go up, you will see all these options over here. Design spotlight, business, education, plans and pricing and all that. So you come to design spotlight because you want to see what are the things that have been spotlighted. You can forget the rest for now. Just focus on this design spotlight here. And you will see that there's a flyer maker, a banner maker, and then a poster maker. So when you go to poster maker, it will share with you all the different kind of posters. Take note, however, <clears throat> it is going to give you all the A4 poster designs. So you just scroll down a little bit, and then it will start giving you the templates to browse. And then you can have the option, see all poster templates. Sometimes it can be good enough, give you the option to select like a sort of criteria. Like for example, do you want this poster to be landscape or vertical? So always good to just go to see all of them so that you can have um, these filters. Uh -huh. All right. looks like they have only the, the vertical ones. Mm. Well, I can always look for landscape posters. Mm. They didn't add that here in the filter. Well, that's good. You have the search bar over here so that you can have either landscape or vertical posters, whichever that you're looking for specifically, you can use this here to find it further. So it's like a filter, but more specific. If you can't find what you're looking for under categories of or style or theme or whatever options they have here under filters, you can always look for it in the search bar. Let us take, for example, something like this. You want to take this because of the nice background, but then the image will change it. And we go to customize this template. Now here is where the magic starts happening because we have everything. All we need to do is just change the minute details. Huh? Like for example, we need this to be in brand. 
And this orange is definitely out of brand. Sometimes what you can do is select what you want to change first of all. So if you select the text, you can see it has here the text color. If you select the background, it has this background color. And if you select an object, you can see this is the background and here is some sort of line object. It has its different color. You can always put the, uh, the, the kind of color that you have already used or saved up. And in the event you haven't saved it in, in, in the Canva that you're using, or you're using a different tool other than Canva, because we have a few fellow Toastmasters who are using different tools such as Kade, Kiad, and even others. We would like to explore those further as well. But in the event that you have that and you would like to change the color, just the simplest way is go to the brand manual, go to the page with the color and get the exact codes so that you can input those codes. And then you go to the element that you want to change. And with elements, what we are meaning is either the background, the text, the image, or these other items, we call these just graphics over here. These are elements because you can change them, move them around, put them on top of others. Like we can always bring this one to the front. Now you can see it's in the front of this one. This is now what we mean with elements. Now you can select an element that you want to change the color of. You go to the area, to the option where it allows you to change the color. And then you can put the text over here. The, the code that you have had over here. We want this to be the blue, and the blue is 004165. And these codes for Toastmasters brands are available in the brand manual. If you need the brand manual and you're not in our VPPR group, let me know and I will share with you a link where you can download it. And if we're in the VPPR, you can always uh, uh, star that message where the all the all the codes have been shared and also uh, there was a link to the brand manual that was shared earlier just start those messages so that you don't lose them whatsapp is it really moves very fast with all of the communication that goes on once you have started it will be somewhere and you can just quickly find it so you can just get a brand manual <laughs> So once you have put the code, you will be able to get that color, exactly that color that you have looked for. Because this code is more or less like an, is it ISBN for items in the supermarket so that you do not confuse this item with any other item. So this color cannot be confused by any other color. Now that you have selected it, you will see it has changed. And you can also always change the, the font, the type of the font by selecting the font type over here at the very corner, left corner of it. And as per brand guideline, always remember it's either Gotham or Montserrat as our main font, or it is Myriad or Source Sans Pro. Now, two of these, Gotham, you will find that tools such as uh, Canva do not have Gotham because it is a paid font. It is one of those, like, you don't find a free BMW. <laughs> you go to your car dealer and they say the BMW is free. So that is Gotham. It is definitely not free. But then we have Montserrat, which is an alternative. And also in the brand guide, it says, if you can't find Gotham, you're able to get Montserrat. And here you have so many options. You're free to use either of these options. It can be either the extra thin, extra bold, whichever works for you, as long as you can make sure that people can read this and make sense of it. Then for the second text, there was either Myriad. So that is Myriad. And now this is like Gotham. There is no myriad for them. And it's also another paid font. 
but it will give you automatically the alternative that was given in the brand, brand guideline so that you don't have to stress yourself. It is Open Sans Pro. So there's Open Sans, then we need the Open Sans Pro. Uh, uh, they've let us down today. It is so Sans Pro. This one here. All right, close enough. So you want the Source Sans Pro as your secondary text. Remember primary text, Gotham or Montserrat. Secondary text is um, the Myriad or the Source Sans Pro. And when we say secondary and primary text, we mean what is the biggest, it's like main title and then subtitle. So for this instance, this one should be Montserrat because it is the biggest title over here. And the one that we have put as Montserrat should be Source Sans Pro. So that's how it's, you set it up. You just change that text. I see that sometimes we really have excited po exciting posters with a text that is cursive, like this one, pick up and delivery only over here. And you can also go more cursive text. Do they have, no? Oh yeah, they do. So you can just type the text type and this one comes out like you can do this very cursive over here. Cursive means it, it is very like handwritten. It looks like something that you've written with your hand. So now it really looks incredibly good. However, we have these brand guidelines and it's not there to tell us to create boring things. No, it is there to challenge us to create amazing things with the limited resources that we have. After all, if we're in a career and we are in a particular department and we're told this department has only X, Y, Z resources, you won't sit there and say, oh, now we can't create anything. You make the best out of the situation that you have. And you know, if you're creative enough, you can create such an amazing thing that gives you a promotion and you want to have that creativity. So it doesn't mean that we, we need to define ourselves as this has to be boring now, it has to be in one way or the other. Just think outside the box, use the tools that you have to your disposal and really make the most of it. And then this car image, we don't want food. We want to show people who are uh, in a meeting. And then now the other request with the Toastmasters is that the images we're using needs to really reflect why we're here. We're here to learn communication skills, public speaking, and also leadership skills. And we can apply these skills in a variety of different areas in our lives. But what we want to create is a professional approach. There's something when it comes to brand guidelines called the character or personality of the brand. And if I were to remind you, like the first time you entered a Toastmasters meeting, what was the vibe? What was the personality that you saw? What, what did it tell you about the people, the caliber of people that you've come uh, to, to join? Now that first thought, I can see we have a few messages. That first thought that you had, during that first meeting, are you able to share it? What kind of personality were you looking at when you saw the SAA, when you entered the room and you were greeted warmly by all the people? Thank you, Connie, organized. What kind of personality did you receive? What, what did you see from the people around you? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ida. Warm smile. Uh -huh. Bring them in. Let's see it. Energetic team. Thank you, Alan. 
professionalism, thank you, friendly, confidence, huh? hospitable, exactly. Ah, I like Antonia, possibilities, uh huh. All right, we have a great number of options here to work with. We have organized and we have professionalism, we have confidence. Now that is the main topic. And then we want to create our respective people. Thank you, Lydia. Hmm? One of our four values, respect. We have organized professionalism and confidence. We're here to build confidence as speakers, as, as communicators and as leaders. We're here to be professional at the career or at the business that we are at. Maybe we are stuttering. Should have had me share a sentence with just two people in the room. I wouldn't be able to finish a sentence without stuttering like 10 times. And then there is also being organized, how we manage things, how we keep ourselves on time and stop the meetings on time. Thank you, Connie. And then after that, because that is what we've come to gain, but in order to achieve the gaining of being organized, being professional and being confident, we really have to create an environment that is warm, with the warm smiles that Ida has shared with us. We need to be hospitable like Juanita has shared. We certainly need to be friendly. You don't want that SAA looking at you like, oh, what do you want here? Why are you here today? Huh? Madam, why are you here today? Or sir, are you lost? What do you want? You want people who welcome you because we, we want members to join very fast and we want members to stay. So it's not a smile at the door. And then two weeks later, you find someone being grumpy with you. We want to keep this and sustain this. And this is the personality that we're bringing out through the posters that we're creating. It needs to be professional. It needs to be respectful. It needs to show confidence in the people being depicted in the images because that is the end product of joining a club. So you don't want to depict someone who is scared because that is definitely not why we're joining here. We don't want to be scared. We want to be motivated. We want to be confident. And I like Bethlehem sharing energetic. That is it. We want to join a club where people are active. People are taking up roles. You don't want to hear that there was no meeting today because role takers weren't there. There were no speakers. There were no evaluators. No, we want to, to show this kind of first impressions that we received when we joined the club. And we want to take this feeling, this environment into the poster so that now the people that we're inviting have an expectation of what they're getting into when they join a meeting. So you want to ensure that it is professional. So you're going to create an image of people who look like they're professionals, they're somewhere doing something. You want to create images of people who are happy, they're smiling, they're not crying. <laughs> you don't come to Toastmasters to cry, because sometimes it can feel that way, the way we're pushing each other to be better. Eh? But that is it's called tough love, because we know and we believe in each other. But then you want to make sure that we're smiling at the end of the day, because we recognize and we award and we make sure that we are respectful and warm to each other. So there are often images I see of things outside of this personality. So we see, there was for instance, an image shared with a thought bubble showing the back of someone. The only thing we could see is the hair. We don't see the character. We don't see whether this person is happy, angry. We don't know, but we see the hair. <laughs> What is it saying about, yes, someone is unmuted. All right, that's one of those accidental unmutes. Well, now we don't, we, we need to see the face because this is personality we're expressing, right? We want to see someone who is looking 
it's something actively energetic, as Bethlehem had said. We want someone who looks friendly, who is smiling, who is looking around, actively communicating in a position of communication. There are so many images can be, that can display that. Even in a friendly environment such as this, it's a little bit informal. However, it is really expressing what needs to be expressed. People are not disorganized. They don't see the chairs upside down over here. People are a little bit serious, but they're communicating. <laughs> Maybe too serious. But we can always find happier images. And that's the what we will also be working on to create a photo library. So I'd like to encourage all of our VPPRs, the images that you're taking at your club, let's have a way of sharing them to one source. So you can share them with me so that we can get the consent. You know, you don't want to share images of our members and they didn't even know images of them were taken and then they find it on a post and it's like, eh, my friend, that was not my best hair day. We, we need to discuss about this. Hmm? So you want them to be aware that a photo of them has been taken and that we might be using this at one point or the other to, you know, um, to uh, talk about the meetings that we're having. And that is where the consent form comes in. So that's why I'm saying, let's not just uh, share them on posters for like that, you know, people we might not mind, people might mind, but let's just take care of one another. Remember the values of Toastmaster, respect one another and show integrity. That is how we get the warm and friendly environment by making sure that we're not overstepping those boundaries. It, we might take for granted that it's okay, but sometimes you find that one person minds it, you know, my hair that day, huh? mm -hmm. and someone doesn't renew their membership and you wonder what happened. So we want to take care of each other because we're each other's keeper. We are here to boost each other without that role taker, without that evaluator. A meeting is really not a meeting. So we need to take care of one another. So we have all of these images showcasing the various different um, meetings that you can have. It doesn't have to be in the image itself. It can even be just on the side. If you would like to have that image as a background, you just drag it from the side to the background. And if you want it to just be an image on its own, just click it, it will be popped there. Then you can resize it and put it where you need it to be. Remember, always have the Toastmasters colors so that we don't get in trouble when someone decides that they're actually going to come to Kenya and or East Africa and see that hmm, our brothers and sisters in Af East Africa are not really following the brands. We, we need a district-wide or even continent-wide VPPR training. So we need to always put our best foot forward. After all, we are all professionals and make sure that we follow the guidelines that we've been provided. Now you have created the poster and you would like to share it with, uh, with your fellow members. You can do this in two ways. The first one is to either copy a link so that you can internally test it without having to download it. And sometimes you can be somewhere, walking somewhere, and you've just created this on your phone, but you need someone to confirm that this design really works. You can just copy the link and then share that link with that person who always test drives your posters, you know, like your, your conscience is like, ah, oh, did I get this right or not? And then they give you an advice here and there. And that person is always the previous VPPR. Don't feel shy, reach out. Hmm? The good thing at uh, Toastmasters is that time is really flexible. The best time I always find is dinner time. 
but it depends with your toast master. So they can be early birds or late birds. During the day, it can be tough unless they have their lunch hours free. But yeah, always have someone who can look at your design. Then you can just come to download. And I would like to ask someone. I know we've been paying attention. When it comes to downloading, which file type was recommended? Do you remember the African Americans? Thank you, Antonia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, we have winners. JPEG. Thank you so much. Yes, Alex. Okay. Because the African speaks to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, JPEG. We are paying great attention. If you have a PNG image, it will be a very big image, but it will be very good quality. So you can literally print it out and you will see it very clearly. For the purpose of sharing on WhatsApp or social media, always go for JPEG. That way you can actually download it and share it without it taking ages to actually go through or be shared. And with that, we're at the end of today's Canvas session. And before we jump over to the next part, which is to share the Canva templates, and I'm sure Alex has been raising his eyebrows, we're way out of time. Are there any questions for this part? I will take two questions. I can see Norhan, your hand is up. Yes, uh, good evening, uh, Angeli and everyone. Uh, uh, my question is, uh, while we were taking the picture, uh, if, if you make it the ground, the background, drag it and put it uh, there. But if you want to put it somewhere, like you, you use different techniques. Is there, uh, do we have to make it? Here? Sorry, Norhan, I think the, the connection might be a little bit flimsy. I'm not sure which side, but I wasn't able to hear you clearly. You asked me from back and whichever way is possible. Do you get my question? How to add the image here? Yeah? Hello, Norhan. Uh, yes, can you can you hear me? I got disconnected. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yes, yes, I can hear you now. Uh, so my question was, uh, if uh, you told us if we want to make the picture to uh, the background, we just drag it and put it uh, on. Uh, I mean the poster. Mm. Yes, yeah. And if we want to, if we just may want to make uh, to take and uh, make it some part of it, we just copy and drop it here. But uh, is there a possibility of copy if we copy it and drop it here? Is there a possibility we can use it as background, um, uh, as deemed necessary? Yes, yes, there is. So when you look at me here, dragging and dropping it, you will see the minute it is over a shape that can, you know, it's like putting something in a container. So this here is a shape and you can put this into that shape as a container. And it is true, if you see me moving it over here, it doesn't show me that it will drop it into the shape. But if I put it to the corner, it is, it is dropping it into the shape. So let us say you've decided you don't want it as the background and it just drops here and you resize it and everything. Then later, you would like the same image as the background. You just take it, and usually this works. However, uh, yes, you replace it as the background. Used to work if you just put it on the corner. But what you can do is go to the three dots and then replace background with that same image. So if you have two images over here, you need to know which image you want as your background and then select that image. You see right now I have this image here selected, the smaller image. So you can see this one appearing above 
the smaller image, the delete option, the three dots. And then if I want to have this specific image, the bigger one as the background, you select that one and you will know that it is selected because it has these two white uh, corners, these white circles in the corner. And then you go to the three buttons that says more and go to the bottom where it says replace background. And then it will assume now the background. I hope that has helped, uh, Nurhan. Yes, thank you. All right, welcome. Yes, thank you, Alan. Canva is free. It has the free fast option. <laughs> mm. Okay, do we have a last question before we hop over to the next segment? I can see our Toastmasters are very studious. Hmm? They're really getting- Can I ask a question, Angelina? Yes, please. Okay, this is Maggie or Moihaki, whichever you prefer. Okay. I'm always curious to know, I've been using the free Canva for almost two years now, and I'm always curious to know what is the added value of having the paid one or do I get as much, I can still get utmost value from the free one? What do I have to benefit from paying for it? Thank that, you. Thank you, Maggie. That's a super good question. From my experience, the free one is excellent. It has so many options at your disposal. You literally will hardly need the other options. However, at some point, some of the really nice templates need the pro version but you can absolutely work without it. Then the one defining feature that I think would might require you to actually um, get the paid version is if you're in a team. So let us say you have a team of four people who need to work on these things. So you have one who creates posters, one who creates things for social media and so forth. That is the only time when I think value can be gained from the pro version because now you can have a team who helps you out. In the free version, you do not have a team, but you can use the same Canva account across the different people, but not at the same time, because someone will be thrown out if two people log in at the same time. So I believe that uh, is the only purpose of the pro version, or rather benefit, not purpose, the benefit of the pro version. But the free version does so much. Yeah. Welcome, Wihaki. Well, thank you, everybody. And what I would like to do is hand over to Alex. I know the time is running. Polisana, Alex, um, would you be able to share with us now that next section, how to share Canva templates? Hi, Angelina. Well done. Well done. Hi, everyone on the call. I see a few, a few familiar faces. Hi, Muihaki. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Aida, and everyone on the call. I'm going to share my screen. And then now, I believe that we learn by doing. So, yeah, someone is asking for a practical. And Jane has done so much work showing us the hoops around Canva. And we also learned through repetition. So, I'm going to just quickly repeat what she did. I'm going to create something like in two minutes and then I'll share it. So I'll show you how to share your work. I mean, what's the use of doing your work if you cannot share it? So this is my process. It's almost similar to Angelina's, but you'll find a few, dif a few differences. And that's, a, that's the thing about design. You can always find your way around these tools in your own way. So for example, for me, when I'm going to design a, a flyer or poster, I have my three Ws the why the where and the what the why i begin with the where i want to share it on social media and to be precise i want to share it on instagram instagram is going to be square 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 posters can fit almost anywhere even on your sub statuses so when i have my where this doesn't look like instagram did I choose something else? 
Oh, story, Instagram story. I want Instagram post. Instagram post, yeah. So once I have my where, I will do the what. The what is a poster and the why is maybe we want to welcome a new member in our club. So if I open my, my, my template for Instagram, you'll notice that on the side, the templates are there. So I find it's a shortcut. So I have my, I have my black canvas, but the templates are on the side on my left. So, and there's a search bar here. I can even just type welcome because I want to welcome a new member. And you most likely find something that is almost tailored made to what you're doing. So for example, these are welcome posters. And like Angelina, I have a pro version. So ever asked that, what's the use of having a pro version? Some of the templates are pro, some are not. So I'll, I'll choose a free version so that we're on the same page. This is free. You can tell a pro version because it has a small crown next to the design. This is free. So I'll pick this. So when you pick a template, you can just now quickly customize it because you know your brand colors, you know your logo. So like this is not my logo, I'll just delete it. And I'll look for my logos. Usually the logos are under uploads, depending on how you've been working with your work. Or, yeah, I most likely find my logo here. My TMI logo is just very far, but let me see. I'll just probably pick something like this, a Zoom logo, welcome the team. And whenever I click on an element, you see the color option on top, which means I can change my color from here. And luckily, I have my TMI colors saved. So I'll change that to blue. So whichever element I click, I, click, I can always change the color from the top. So once you have something going, and then if you have a picture of your members, perhaps I'll go to uploads and I have my member already uploaded in my Canva. That's our new member, and we want to welcome her. Welcome to the team. I'll pick a name from the call, maybe Muihaki. Yeah. So it's easy to edit Canva. It's just the way you could be working on PowerPoint. It's not very different. Muihaki Y0. You can expand your text. You can change the font text. And I'm just repeating what Angelina did, but now in just for the interest of time, this is our finished Canva product. So how do you share it? How, how do you share this work? Because again, what's the use of creating something if you're not going to share it? There are about three ways of sharing this work and the big button up here says share. So, how do you want to share it? Maybe with a team, perhaps you can add someone. You want to add someone to your Canva or you want to share the link to maybe a group. Maybe within your Exco, within your Exco group on WhatsApp, you can just come here and copy the link. But before you copy the link, you must grant people access. And it's just right here. Who can view this work? Only you can access it. But if you click on the down, on the drop down, you realize that you can make your work accessible to anyone with a link or people on your team. But let's, let's just open it up because we want to share it perhaps to your group. So once you have that checked, who can, who can view the link? You just copy this link and then you paste it on maybe your Exco group, or you share it with a person you want to share your work with. The, this just works the way Google Drive works. If you're sharing a Google Drive document, you can also add someone's email, share this design. Perhaps you want to share it with, let me see someone who might be on my team. 
is uh, yeah, it's her email. So I'll just add her and also grant her rights here. She can edit, she can comment, or she can just view. I would want her to make changes if she can, so I'll leave it as edit. I can put a comment. I can I can also add someone else. Maybe, maybe my VPPR. Will probably be yeah, Shamim is also here. So clearly, I've been using this Canva with my team. Once I've added my team members, I can just click send. And when I send this, they will receive an email. All they are added under people who can view. So once again, I will just repeat it. Once your design is ready. Once you've worked it around, maybe your this the font you want. These are these are the words you want. You can also change this to maybe Kampala. Now it's quite easy to edit. So just get some time and just practice. Put in the hours of practice. You find yourself doing amazing work and you won't believe yourself. So you share. You put a person's email. All you can just copy link and make sure they're able to edit. I believe that's all about sharing. It's, it's that easy, you, got, you won't believe it. And then you can also download it using the format explain JPEG. Once you save it, you can still drop the file in someone's WhatsApp group or you can attach it an email. And then I only perhaps share, share anything else about sharing, but just a quick work around Canva as far as collaboration tools are concerned. Thank you so much, Alex. So this one was a quick one. Uh, what I would like to ask you, Alex, is in regards to, sometimes I know that you have already created a design and it's a nice design you've shared in the WhatsApp group. And some yeah. of the participants says, this is so nice. Would you share it with me? Now, because I know you don't want sometimes to have that original design changed. Maybe you might need yeah. how, how do you work around that? Uh, my work around that is, uh, this is my work around. If you go back to home, your design is already there. And yeah, you don't share your original design so that people can maybe manipulate it. And this is just a work around through my work processes. What I do, you see, when you come to your home, this is the, this is the work you've been doing the whole time. They, they are stored here under recent design. As you can see, this is my recent design, my most recent design, because we've done this together. What I, what I'll do in that case, if I click here, under this menu, because we, we, we covered share, if I do this, it's the same thing we've just covered. I'm adding you and I'm saying, if I don't want you to change the design, I will just say, just view, but maybe you want to work with it. What I would do is, guess what? You can make a copy of this work. If I make a copy, my original stays and now I can give you access to make changes to the copy. The same way, if you say, share or get uh, get link. So if I say share, I can grant access, anyone with a link, and then I can copy this link and I'll share it with you. That's what works and something I just came up with. I don't know if Angela, you have any other method of doing it? That's exactly the method that I use as well. Thank you, Alex. Great. So members get busy. You have to really practice. There's so much you can do with this Canva. And every day I'm doing something like this morning I did this. I can if I can just share my work. I did this and it took me about five minutes because there was a template I liked and I just placed my images. And of course, this is the text I wanted to use. Thank you for your support. So you have no excuse of not showing good work because Canva is here and Canva is free. Thank you. And back to you, Angela. Thank you, Alex. 
this is one template that that you've created that I believe myself I would love to start using as well. So I'm looking forward to you sharing this. <laughs> you can share uh, maybe in the VPPR group. Just anybody can access it if it's an open one. But remember, create the copy. You don't want to ruin the original. Yeah, I'll definitely make a copy. Thank you so much. And thank you also for such an amazing uh, session to take us through the sharing of it. Share it all to all of us here. <laughs> Our director, division director Ida, would like it to ease up <laughs> if we can have. <laughs> no, no worries. Let me make a copy and then share with everyone. It's it's that good. Well, we have winners in, in, in our group. This is why Toastmasters brings together like minded people because we know how to push ourselves to do things better and better each time. Thank you, Alex. Now, I know we are a little bit running out of time. As a matter of fact, we are already out of time. For those who would like to leave us, that is okay. I understand it's an evening and you have a lot of things to do. And um, for those who would like to stay on, I will take the next 10 minutes to share a review of the September posters that have been shared. We have had so many posters that were shared, all of them equally amazing and some of them just splendid beyond imagination. And I wanted us to look at just three of them because they show the progress. I know when we started, we were like very excited. The colors were, hey, they were very, very ambitious. The fonts were incredibly ambitious as well. And we have managed to not only stay in brand as we continue with our work as VPPRs, but we have done so in amazing style. And I want to show some of this amazing work that has been shared. Uh, let me put them up. And then after there, we have our very first one. Here you have it. We have iconic Toastmasters Club started off completely off brand let me just put it that way it was off brand the colors were not correct the image was a little bit off but now look at this look at the professionalism of this image the blue is in brand the red is in brand the logo has been placed very well in the in the in the corner of the of the poster and the image itself is showcasing people in a professional setting yeah? it is showcasing people who are smiling who are communicating, and this is progress. And this is what we are capable of through consistency and patience. Because believe you me, it, it doesn't happen in a day. We, we are all here, you know, like Alex doing this in five minutes. You started somewhere, and that is why you're here doing amazing things like that. And we have also our VPPR from Iconic, who is able to grow and expand with voracious effort is, let me check if she's here. No, Cronel is not here with us today. However, we have an amazing star in Iconic Toastmasters Club. Now our next, our next image is going to get even more interesting because now we have bold colors and bold colors that are well in brand. As I said, just because we have a brand guide doesn't mean we're going to create boring stuff. Look at this. Look at the confidence hmm, of the host, Stephen Kagame. Look at the colors, the color combination, the blue, the red, the yellow for venue zoom the venue for Kampala executives, making Kampala executives stand out. This is what is being a VPPR, starting and starting with that mindset of growth. And finally, but not least, we have, there are so many, I don't even know which amazing work to share with you. 
assumem-me. We have this one here. Muyenga Toastmasters Club. Look at this. Look at the red. Look at the, where, where's, where's the logo? You can see the logo very clearly. It has its own podest. Right beneath it is the text of who, where are you going? Which division does it belong to? And then the text. Hmm? The text's very clear. This one is, Join us, 25K includes kit. You know, I think sometimes we need to define the 25K. Right? My scare me over here. But then again, look at that. The images, I know we had a bit of a challenge with that because sometimes we want to stick very clearly to the professionalism. However, look at them. Look at people talking together, not a single person. Sometimes we had people sharing images of shoes to indicate running. We didn't see the people, we were seeing shoes. So I was uncertain whether we are selling shoes. <laughs> Come to Toastmasters to join shoe sellers. So we now have such great improvements. I, am, I could never be any prouder than this because this shows capacity to improve and capacity to grow. And if we, we are not ready to improve and grow, we are lost at Toastmasters. So these are the amazing works that have been done. This is the amazing progress that we've seen so far. So thank you so much, VPPRs. You are amazing. Hmm? <laughs> I'm seeing Mwihaki saying 25K. She thought it was 25 kilometers race. <laughs> yes, it does create curiosity. Now, I would like to share one poster so that we can collectively review this and then understand what could be better. It was an incredibly good poster that I had seen, but then I started realizing that these things are becoming so good, even I am getting confused about sticking to brand guidelines. I'm missing out on details. So we have this poster. At first glance, I see absolutely nothing that is off brand. Can any one person unmute themselves and tell me what is off? The business dialogues. Lord, Lord, Lord Gala. Gala. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, that's it. The blue for business dialogues is so bright. It is not the Toastmasters blue, huh? but it is excellent. It's a really lovely image, uh, poster. Yeah, we have, we have good people with great eye for details. So these are the things we need to look out for. We need to look out for these little details now that we have come to a place where we're very confident with what we're creating. We're creating stuff that's making people say, please share this design template with me. Eh? Now we need to focus on the details. And I'm certain and very confident that we can do it. Well, with that, I would like to open the floor to last remarks before I close it off for the evening. What are people having for dinner? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for that presentation. I have learned something new, something that I've always been curious about in a very relaxed manner. I cannot wait to begin practicing. Thank you so much. That's it, that's the enthusiasm. Thank you, Elizabeth. And I am certainly looking forward to that proposed workshop. And I'm seeing people having ideas. Let us suggest what you want to do. The eh? so next meeting, it's a workshop. Come ready, I'm giving you the homework. If you don't have a Canva account, register. Thank you. All right, lovely people. With that, I would like to say again, let's keep practicing. And remember, let us be each other's keeper. If you see a poster and you notice something, maybe the person who made it didn't honestly notice it because I know myself, I create stuff. And then when the customer comes back to me, I'm like, how did I miss this? 
So don't worry, this happens. Let's be each other's keeper. Let's make sure that we keep that safe and supportive environment because we need to also learn to be evaluators. It's a great opportunity for each one of us to learn to be how to evaluate each other's posters. Don't keep quiet, don't be shy. We're here to communicate and be and have our voices heard in a respectful way. <laughs> With that, have a beautiful evening, everybody. <laughs>